Hey guys, it's Brand New and Lucas TV Toys. You're about to watch a fun Lego stop motion video that I created about the history of Lego. There are two Easter eggs in this stop motion animation. But first, this is a story about the inventor of Lego who overcame huge difficulties and setbacks and still made the world's number one toy company ever. Oh so, boy. so if you're going through tough times, remember this story and be encouraged by it. So you never will give up and always accomplish your dreams. Now here are the two Easter eggs to look for. Number one, there's a character in this stop motion video that has an outfit from a Disney character. If you spot it, let me know in the comments. What Disney character outfit is the character wearing and what character from the stop motion video is it? And the second Easter egg is a Lego news item before Lego was even invented. So if you find those two Easter eggs, let me know in the comments down below. Even just one. I love to hear from you guys. So without further ado, let's see the Lego stop motion. This is Ole Kirk Christensen. He lives in Denmark. Hello. He invented Lego. Let's hear his story. Ole started out making wooden tools. Then one day he thought, I can use my carpenter skills to make wooden toys for my sons. So he made a wooden toy airplane and they loved it, especially his son, Godfred. One day, a toy salesman named Mr. Boogly Boog placed a big order with Ole. So, Ole hired workers and they all got busy making the toys for the toy salesman who placed the big order. Their wooden toys were the best toys ever. But nobody would ever get to see them. Ole was devastated. What's wrong, Dad? Read the letter, Godfred. Dear Ole, sorry for the inconvenience, but I went into bankruptcy and cannot buy all the toys I ordered from you. I wish you the very best of luck and hope this does not affect your company badly. Sincerely, Mr. Boogly Boog. Oh my, what am I gonna do? Ole could not sell the toys he had made until one day he walked into a local toy shop. Wow, look at all the cool toys this shop has. There is the owner right now. Hey there, I'm Ole. Welcome to my magical toy shop. You must really like toys. You have a whole toy shop here. Well, actually, um, I hate toys. So, why do you have a whole toy shop and you hate toys? I have nothing else to do. All these toys stink. They don't sell enough. Well, I made this wooden toy plane. I think this would sell well here. You want a whole bunch of them to sell in your store? Wow, I love that plane. I'll buy all of your toys and sell them here. Finally, some awesome toys to have in my toy shop. Thanks. Hmm, what am I going to call my toy company? Ole Toys? No. Hmm. Lego, 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 Lego! This is my balloon! Lego, Lego! Lego! That is what I should call my toy company. So business was pretty good, and Ole and Godfred managed the toy factory. But one day, there was a fire, and the whole factory burned down. But Ole didn't give up. He and Godfred built a brand new factory and kept making toys. They bought a plastic molding machine and started making plastic toys. Business was good. Hey, Godfred, who's that? Oh, that's Benny. He works in our factory. He's way ahead of his time and a great worker. Wow, I like good workers. Ole's Lego company was doing great and later on they designed the first Lego brick using the plastic molding machine. That was 1955. Then in 1958, 
Ohi and Gottfried changed the design to what we see today, the tube coupling system on the bottom of the brick to connect the pieces. Sadly, the same year, Ole passed away on March 11, 1958. So Gottfried took over the company. The first Lego minifigure was created in 1978. It was a Lego policeman. Hello! Since then, they've made lots of Lego minifigures and they've become key assets in many Lego sets. All these years later, you can get a whole variety of Lego sets, from small to large. And the minifigure is as popular as ever. People like me wouldn't even get minifigures and we don't even know what minifigure it is. Go blind bags, woohoo! Next time you play with the Lego set, remember that you're playing with the number one toy brand in the entire planet. Isn't that awesome? In 2017, they made $10 billion. And in 2018, we haven't got those numbers yet, but I'm sure Lego's still going to be the number one toy brand on the planet. They have been for a while. Well, thanks for watching this Lego stop motion for the Lego history video. And thanks for making Lucas TV Toys the number one Lego channel on the planet. Well, I guess that one we're still working on. Well, your support really helps, so thanks for all the support. Don't forget to click the notification, or well, click the subscribe button and then the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of our future awesome Lego videos. And I'll see you next time on Lucas TV Toys. Bye bye. Hey guys, here are some of my other videos, and I know you're gonna love them, so go ahead and watch them. <laughs>